Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Lord today went from Bethany to Jerusalem. And you remember yesterday we said that he cursed the fig tree. On the way, the disciples saw the fig tree been withered. Withered. The leaves did fall down. And the fig tree was like naked tree. Then the disciples said to the Lord, Oh, this is the fig tree you cursed yesterday. The Lord said to them, This is for you to believe. This is for you to believe. Believe in what? Believe in what? That my words are true. When I say the word, it has been done. Trust in that. And this is the first thing today the Lord wanted to teach us with. By the way, today is today is only uh, a teaching day. He spent the whole day in the temple teaching. And the first thing he wants us to do is what? To be saved. Yani be careful. This is one of the last teachings. Yani khalas, it is Tuesday and he will be crucified on Friday. So he is summarizing everything. For be careful. It's the first thing today to teach us believe, trust. And he said, if you have faith, you will say to the mountain, move. It will move. Do you have a mountain in your life? No. The way to move it, the way to move it is faith, belief, trust. Yeah? And he wanted to tell them I am going to tell you facts. It would not happen today, but it will happen afterwards. But can you see the fig tree? What happened to the fig tree? Trust. What I am going to say, it will happen. Then he went to the temple and started to teach all the Jews, all the people there, and the disciples, and started by saying, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how many times did I want to gather your children at the hand gather? It's a check under her wings, and you did not want to. You did not repent. You did not listen. Don't rely on your temple. It would be destroyed. So the disciples heard the word, it will be destroyed, and they took him and told him, Come and see, come and see. That looks like that cannot be destroyed. Come and see the greatness of the buildings of the temple. Then the Lord said to them, there will be not one stone 
will stay on top of the other. It will be destroyed. And it happened. After 40 years, the Romans came and actually destroyed the temple. So the Lord is emphasizing what again? Faith. That's the first thing. The second thing the Lord wants to emphasize today in his teachings is repentance. How many times I did want and you didn't want to. How many times we do hear about repentance, confessions, and coming back to the Lord. Did we? Do we? The Lord is saying how many times, but there is a time when there will be no more time. When, Lord? When, Lord? When I come. And that is why he started again to tell them and to warn them that the second coming is coming. And he started to um, talk when the disciples heard about his second coming. They said to him, when and what was the science of your second coming? And he started to mention all the science of the second coming. There will be uh, wars, there will be famines, there will be uh, sickness, there will be disease, there will be coldness of hearts, coldness of hearts, and people would deliver you and each other, and they will kill you. But in all of that, don't be troubled. How, Lord? How, Lord, can't we be troubled? Two days ago, we saw people in the church, and because of what happened, they were really troubled. But the Lord has said, it will happen. It will happen. But don't be troubled. Believe. I am still in control. Although all of that is happening, I'm still in control. Believe, believe. And he hinted that all these troubles, all these wars, all these coldness of hearts would make the word of God be spread and it will be the word of God will be everywhere in the whole world. And then that is why he went to the third point, which is watch. Watch. Watch here means to pray and to what? And to keep looking for the signs. Watch. Watch. Watch here is not only to pray, but be careful. Be careful. You know, he said to the Jews, huh? Look, the temple will be wrecked down. I will come and I will not choose you. I will take only the elect. 
and you will be perished and you will be judged and will have darkness forever and they still didn't listen but the Lord is warning us to watching means to pray but to keep conscious about what is happening around you. Don't ever forget that the Lord will come. But when he comes, he said he will come unexpectedly. I think that we all go to drive, for example, and then an accident happens. And we say, oops, I never expected to have an accident. Oops, I never expected that would happen. But the Lord today is saying, I will come and you will not expecting me. It's like, it is like, it is like what? It's like Noah's time. Noah kept saying to everyone, I will build the ark and the flood will come. Those who are in the, in the ark would not perish, but those who will be out will be perished. Probably the workers who built the ark was building houses for themselves from the wages. And Noah is saying, don't build houses, it will be wrecked. And nobody listened till it happened. And the second coming is the same. The Lord made a hint for us unexpectedly. And believe me, many fathers believe that he will come at night. And he will come unexpectedly at night. Some people probably will be coming on a Sunday. But the message is be ready because we don't know. Be ready. The main th fourth thing today is to strive, is to struggle is to strive, to struggle. So we first said faith, repentance, what else? Huh? Faith, repentance, huh? watch, and then strive. Strive means the parable of the talents. You have one talent, two talents, five talents, I will come and I will ask for fruits. This is the day of judgment. Everyone will offer an account about what he had. Which all of you have got accountants, yeah? And you go to the accountant at the end of the year for the tax, and if the tax man is after you, you will be so shaken, yeah? But the day of judgment will not only be a tax accounts. It would be account for every word we said, every thought we had, every action we have done, everything we have even thought about. And the last thing, the love, the love, the love. It's not enough to believe. It's not enough to repent. It's not enough to watch. It's not enough to strive. But you need to love, love the others. He said to them, 
on the last day, on the day of judgment, I will bring people on my right hand side and people on my left hand side. I will tell to the right, to those who are on my right hand side, blessed are you because you have been faithful on the little. You will be entrusted on the many because I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and you gave me to drink. I was in prison and you came and visited me. I was sick and you came and helped me. The love. These five points were the last five teaching points to all people, to the multitude. Can we keep them? Can we do them? Can we really live them every day? Ask yourself every day, do I believe? Do I repent? Do I watch? Do I really strive? Do I really love? I wanted every one of you to count what do you do of these five things every day. May the Lord give us all to listen and to keep it and live it and to always give account about it every day. Glory to God forever. Amen.